This video will guide you to all of the vocabulary, cultural knowledge, and phrases that you'll need to know when shopping in an American grocery store. Your English teacher might have taught you some really basic phrases, and maybe some phrases in English class that were too formal, but when you get to the United States, the phrases that I'm going to teach you today are going to be essential. So listen up and let's practice some vocabulary for the grocery store. Make sure to use the link below to download the free PDF guide that will help you study this vocabulary from this lesson. Hi, did you find everything you were looking for today? Yes, thank you. Would you like paper or plastic? Sorry, uh, no thanks. I mean, would you like me to use paper or plastic bags? Oh, I brought this one. Great, a reusable bag. Yes, reusable. Okay, that comes to $102.20. Would you like to round up and donate to charity today? Um, what do I need to go around? To round up means to take your change to the nearest dollar and we donate that amount of money to charity. Oh, no thanks. Um, well, okay, have a good day. Thanks. Let's review some common phrases that you'll need to know when shopping in the grocery store. These first two phrases, what's on special and what's on sale. If you want to ask what has a special price or a lower price than usual, you could say what's on special or you can say what's on sale. I would say it's more common to say what's on sale, but you'll see a lot of signs in grocery stores that say weekly specials or specials of the week. This means it's special pricing. Usually it means, you know, the grocery store has too much, so they offer a discount for that type of food. And in the United States, this is very common, especially for meat, like beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. Sometimes when you're shopping at the grocery store, something might not be on special or on sale, but you might have a coupon or a special piece of paper or a code that you can scan on your phone that will give you a discount or a special price on an item. We call this a coupon. So when you're paying for your food at a grocery store and you want to say you have something that will give you a discount, you can say, I have a coupon. One show that was really popular here in the United States was Extreme Couponers. And these were people that would collect coupons for weeks and weeks and weeks at a time and do a very big grocery shopping trip and they would have so many coupons that they would owe no money at the end of a grocery trip. So of course they had to use these coupons on specific things like they would buy a lot of laundry detergent, a lot of toothpaste, a lot of ketchup and mustard and things like that and their total that they would owe for all of this food, sometimes it would be a thousand dollars worth of food would be zero because they had so many coupons. We call that extreme couponing. When I am lost in the grocery store, the phrase that I use to ask for help is I find a worker or somebody who works at the grocery store and I say, can you help me find, can you help me find the avocados? Can you help me find the eggs? This is just the most common way to ask for help in a grocery store. Sometimes you might have an item on your grocery list that you need and you're not sure if the store sells this item. Maybe it's something less common than avocados or eggs. So what I would ask if I was at the grocery store, I'd find someone who works there and I would say, do you have chia seeds? Do you have coconut milk? Now these two things are less common in American grocery stores. Just remember that in the United States, there are some vegetables that are different than what they're called in the UK or in British English. So if you learned British English in school, you're going to want to check out the vegetables. One example that I can think of is in the United States. We call this type of lettuce arugula. And in the UK, they call this rocket or I've heard it called rocket leaf. So that's just one difference. And if you asked for rocket leaf in the United States, people would have no idea what you're talking about. So check the vegetables in American English. Another really common phrase for the grocery store is 
can I get a price check? Now, if you're working at the grocery store, you might be scanning items, checking the prices, and you know your machine is adding up the total. And if you get something and you're not sure how much it costs, it doesn't have a label, you might have to call someone and say, can you get a price check on this? Could you get a price check on this avocado? Or can you get a price check on this box of strawberries? You could also ask someone who works at the store, hey, could you price check this? This means you want to know how much the item is going to cost because there's no sign or there's no label in the store. And some stores in the United States, especially bigger stores, they have little machines that you can use throughout the store to scan an item if you're not sure the cost of the item, if it has a barcode. And this right here is a barcode. It's the sticker that they scan at the cash register. We call this a barcode. Hi, can you tell me if you have any sweet potatoes in stock? We actually just got a shipment in. Let me go see. Yep, here they are. Perfect. And do you know if you have any meat specials this week? We don't have anything on meat, but check out the seafood because there's a great deal on salmon. They're super fresh too. Thank you. You're so helpful. Of course. Just doing my job. Going to the grocery store in the United States will definitely be much different than any other English-speaking country and... It will for sure be different than going to your home country's grocery store as well. So here is some cultural knowledge that you'll need to know that will help you feel better and more comfortable in the American grocery store. Almost every chain of grocery stores or even just single grocery stores in the United States has what we kind of call a club card. Now this card usually offers you small discounts or it gives you points that you can take and you can get a discount later. Or a really common way that these cards are used is if you buy a certain amount of groceries, you get a discount on gas at the gas pump later. I don't know if this is common across the world, but in the United States, this is super common. Certain items in the grocery store will give you more points towards your gas, which will give you a discount. So usually, you know, it's a few cents off per gallon of gas here. Definitely get one of these if you go to a grocery store pretty often here in the United States. It will save you some money when you have to pump gas. Maybe you're confused why we call some stores grocery stores and we call some stores markets. And you might not even know yet we have these stores called discount stores, which would be Costco or Sam's Club or another big store where you have to buy a membership in order to shop there. I have had Costco memberships in the past. I love Costco. Right now I have a Sam's Club membership because it's really close to my house and it's very convenient to shop there. And these types of stores, these discount stores, discount clubs, maybe you'll hear them called, are really common for people that have big families or have kids because you need to buy more food at one time. But if you're only one person or if it's just your husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend, you probably don't need to go to Costco or Sam's Club because it would just be way too much food to buy at one time. So a grocery store is just a very average store in the United States. You go there, there's the produce section where they sell fruits and vegetables, there's milk, eggs, all of the normal things. Now in the United States, because we are a country that's filled with immigrants, which is an awesome thing, we have what we call markets or ethnic markets. So this would be like a Mexican supermarket. This is a supermarket or a market that specializes and food that you would find typically in Mexico. You'll find all the types of chilies and spices, and you'll find meat that is ready to prepare in ways that is used for Mexican food or any sort of Hispanic, typically. Here where I live, there is an Asian market. So if you're Chinese, Vietnamese, Japanese, whatever it may be, you'll probably find some really familiar foods at the Asian market. If you're looking for something specific that you wouldn't find at the typical grocery store here, you'll want to check out the ethnic markets. And you can find almost any type of market in the United States. 
There's markets that just serve halal foods. There's markets that are African markets. It's really interesting and it's a really cool experience if you're able to go to a different market than what you're used to because you'll find new foods that you've never tried before. And they might seem strange to you, but it's always good to try new things. If you have lived in the United States, you know that the United States is huge. All of the different states have different rules or laws. And one of those laws that can be super confusing across the United States is in some places, they are required to charge for plastic bags or any sort of bags at the grocery store. In some places, especially in the Midwest, this isn't as common, so they'll give you as many plastic bags as you need to carry your groceries home. In California, I believe it's 10 cents per plastic bag that you need at the grocery store. So it's encouraged to bring reusable bags or bags that are made of cloth that you can use again and again. And this is supposed to be eco-friendly or friendly to the environment because you're not using as much plastic. So typically you can have plastic bags or paper bags from the store that you can bring home. Or if you like to be friendly to the environment and less wasteful, you bring cloth bags that are called reusable bags. Produce. When you say produce, you're talking about fruits and vegetables. If you say I'm going to the produce section, it's the area in the grocery store that contains fruits and vegetables. Bakery. The bakery is where they sell bread, rolls, pastries, and desserts. My favorite dessert is a donut from the bakery. Most grocery stores in the United States have a bakery inside. The place where they sell meat in the grocery store is called the meat section. We have usually chicken, pork, seafood, and beef there. And sometimes you'll hear chicken referred to as poultry. Poultry just means chicken. Right next to the meat section is typically the seafood section, and that's where they'll sell things like lobsters. In the United States, it's very common to see live lobsters in a tank in the grocery store, or you might see shrimp, salmon, and other types of fish for sale. In the dairy section in the United States, it's where you'll find yogurt, cheese, milk, and you'll also find butter and eggs in the dairy section as well. Anything pretty much that's made out of animal products, like milk, is found in the dairy section. When I'm in the grocery store and I'm looking for frozen foods, I typically say I need to go to the freezer or the freezer aisle. This is the aisle or the area of the grocery store that contains all of the frozen foods, like frozen vegetables, frozen fruits, frozen pizzas, and of course, other frozen meals. If you're looking for vegetables or fruits that come inside of cans, we call that canned goods. If you're looking for canned goods in the United States in the grocery store, you'll find those in the middle of the grocery store. A beverage is any sort of drink that is not water. So when you're looking for beverages in the United States, you'll go to an aisle and typically they'll have soda, juice, and other types of drinks too. One thing that has become really popular here in the United States is seltzer waters, and we would have those in the beverage aisle as well. In the snack aisle, you'll find all types of chips, crackers, nuts, and other snack foods that are typically less healthy than produce, meat, or dairy. If you're looking for types of sauces, you'll need to visit the condiment aisle. Condiment. A condiment is a sauce that we add to things like ketchup, mustard, or mayonnaise. In the grocery store, you'll find an aisle that has all of the baking supplies. Baking supplies are used to make things like cookies and cakes. So you'll find flour, sugar, baking powder, and other ingredients in this aisle as well. And another thing that most grocery stores have in the United States is a household item aisle. So this would be all of the things that you need to clean your house or paper products like paper plates, paper cups, or plastic bags, which we call Ziploc bags. Ziploc is a brand, but it's also just become the word for the type of plastic bag with a little zipper on it. 